I don't I don't think I can really I'm not sure how we easily I'll be able to climb up the ladders with the boxes, but I think I can use this elevator for that purpose, and I think that's kind of why it's here. God, I really wish it would just go down automatically. Surely I can make it do that, right? There we go. Oh, well. Right one, maybe it was a good idea to stick to uh, auto. That's fine. Here's the closest boxes. Take them with me. Uh, can I rotate a little better? Come on. There we go. All right. Uh, uh, having some interesting close quarters issues. Okay. I'll just sit here on top of it. Oh, 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 game didn't like that. What happened? No. Oh, no. Oh no, am I trapped? You, you shot out like a goddamn missile's what happened. Oh, what physics, physics, what are physics in this game? There we go. Uh. That makes things a little harder. Shit. I might have. Um, can you cooperate with me a little bit? I might have to load an old save. I think I just trapped the elevator up top with the boxes that I need. And those boxes were kind of necessary for getting up there in the first place. Unless I can find another box, I might not be able to even climb up any higher. There might be another one somewhere. Like, that was how I climbed up there. Video game, help me! Get you out of the way a little bit. And running jump! I didn't jump. Running jump, hit! Oh. I'm really fucked, aren't I? Ah. Damn it. Cause just cause the physics engine couldn't handle the situation, basically. Maybe I can knock a box down with this other box. By throwing it. Like, ha! Oh, it does not move very far. It's not a good sign for me. Huh? Oh yeah, it doesn't... <laughs> yep, one thing they did do right with this engine is that stuff has a weight to it, so you can't really usually throw a box that way. Unless the game gives you... Unless you're playing a game that's like, You are Superman! Congrats, I guess. That'd be a weird way to acknowledge that you're Superman. GG. Not giving up this easily. Just another puzzle to solve, even though it's not one that's built in the game. Please stay diagonal. Damn it. No. Dang it. I'm trying to stack it in the corner. Here, you're a multi thing. You might stay still. No. Jesus, you are freaking out. There we go. Once it stops, once, a, once an item stops moving in a source game, it usually stops having physics act on it. Which is something I can use to my advantage! Ha ha! Got it, ow. That would have been really dumb if I died that way. That would have really undone the entire progress I made there. Oh my goodness, you all saw it here. I nailed it. I used my knowledge of, of uh, source physics 
to completely break how the game works. I balance. I balanced it on a flat. Look what I balanced it on. It's not. That's not even a balanced friendly object. It just has a slightly flat top, and I know that generally an object in in a in a Source Engine game will stop having physics act on it the moment it stops moving, and it won't and it won't uh, start having physics act on it again until ah uh, shit. It generally won't have physics act on it again until something hits it that causes it to think that it's time to have physics happen again. Which makes sense because it saves on resources like crazy for it to not constantly live render physics for every single object in the entire game. But that means that you can stand on it even though that in real life that would cause you to, it, you to fall off it like crazy. There we go. I am boss at game. And also, I made this way harder for myself than it should have been because of that mistake with the elevator. I knew I was making a risk, too. The whole time, I'm like, ah. Being on a physics object as it's moving could go so poorly in a Steam game. I mean, a, a Source game, not Steam game. Steam game doesn't make any sense. Oh. If I could get on top of it... That'd be interesting. If I could get on top of it when it was going up, I could just ride it to the top. Which would undo a lot of the issue here. That might actually be the solution. That might be what I'm supposed to do, not, not even the boxes. That's curious. I'll leave you guys up here in case I need you. But let's plan for this. Auto up and auto down. The issue is how do I make it auto up when I'm the one on top of it? How do I get up there and then make it go up? Because I want to be up there. Or is this enough? Just being in the middle. Maybe this, maybe the staircase pattern is enough already. Why though? Go, 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 ninja, go, ni please. Okay, so here's where I use the boxes, I guess. Uh, please don't fall out of the world or something. I don't... Uh... I'm not entirely trusting of the system. Okay, um... Uh... There had to be a tarp here, huh? Okay. No. Welp. That's not good. That isn't... Entirely unhelpful that that just happened. I can't fit through here. Oh, shit. I was trying to see if I could, like, hold it around and hold it, like, carry it around through here from the outside. I think the moment your invisible, magical arms that are holding it are, by, are cut by an object is when you drop them. Alright, well, they're on the bottom, though, so I can get them easily with the elevator if I need to. Let's go back to this and see if there's a way to get past the fact that I'm stuck. Why can't I just climb over a small thing? What am I walking on? This beam? So if I get on this guy, can I- there it is. Just need to get on one of those guys. Okay, the boxes didn't matter. The silly, silly intricacies of platforming. Alright. That's not a real door. Alright, cross that off the list. I want, I'm starting to wonder, like, is this series going to be longer or shorter than The Witness? Whoo, don't go down that way. 
And that, it's, that, there's a big glowing exit sign to signify to the player that that's probably where I want to go, ultimately. Although, really, exit is like a misnomer in this I game. Like a ton of these things already. Because when has that ever worked out for me? It was just a dead end with some batteries. Uh oh. Didn't, didn't collapse? There was a shaking, so I thought the platform was gonna actually collapse. The ladder on the side. You're a fake door. And that is a drop to my doom. Sweet. How do you do? I can't get down that way. And in this kind of place, you can't tell if it's be if it's messed up because it fell apart and broke, or because they never built it. Both are equally valid now. That's what a mess everything is. I could jump on that, then jump down there, probably. Not entirely sure if I want to. Also might absolutely have to. Broken, emergency overflow. I'll tell you it's broken. It's, it's broken. It'll be open for 20 seconds, lower water level. Uh, where's the gate even? Oh, right down there? Holy crap. That'd be a fast trip to the bottom to try to get to it. Oh my goodness. The ex the glowing exit sign that seems to signify to the player to run that way uh, is over a fake door. So that's not happening. We're not getting that way either. I guess the question is, do I want to explore anything down there or just run for the exit? When I press that button, the time limit starts and I gotta get down there fast. Oh, that's way easier than, than the other way. I thought I had to have to jump on that thing then jump over there, which I think I'd survive if I did it just right, but that's totally doable too. Okay, so here comes the race. I, I have like a minute. It's 20 seconds of open, but who knows how long it takes to open in the first place. That's not going anywhere. Not that way. Well, shit. Guess who's failing this the first time? I am super going to fail this. Huh. Okay, this way then. It's open right now, so it's 20 seconds till it closes. What the hell? Do you go up? What do I do with you? No, no. I'm alive. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that was the intended solution, but okay. Deuces. I am now here? Oh, hey, you can go back now, this way. And I'm, I'm not trapped. Permanently. I thought I'd have to do that whole thing again if I wanted to come back. Do a quick run around. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. I can go back now. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, okay, never mind, that was not, I wasn't even close to where the 20 seconds were. Okay. So I can open this from up there, and if I need to, I can go all the way back up, because I've opened the gate. So I can go all the way back up and do the time trial again if I, if I need to go back that way. It looks like the glory hole at Lake Berryessa. Not we, not that kind. Yeah, Google search it. It's neat looking. Just a giant nightmare death hole in the middle of the lake. Not the middle of the lake, it's a... It's way off in a uh, buoyed off area you're not supposed to be in. But it still looks like a nightmare, and I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it's killed somebody at some point. 
And then they just go through the dam. Should there be equipment like that in the water? I'm, gonna, I'm guessing no. That looks like electrical equipment that's in like the water area. Just sounds like a bad call. Oh, that's what that thing was. It's a thing that's supposed to float with the water and it measures the height of the water for the system to keep track of. That's the thing I was putting the bricks on so that it would give me access to the room. Oh. Interesting. So all these times where I encounter a door that's like, it's flooded beyond this point. It's probably got a, a device like that behind it and it's floating because of the water and that's how you know that's how it knows not to let you in. And that one time I couldn't get to the door because it thought that the room I was in was already full of water because that thing was up in the air instead of where it was supposed to be. And so I needed to I needed to weigh it down so it goes down there in order to get out of it. But that also means that that room is always going to be accessible now. It's always going to look uh, think that it's it's always going to think that it's not full of water. And so that I feel like doomed somebody to open a door into a watery grave later, probably. Yay! Do I want to go that way or this way? Also, the sun's still up at 9, like 30? Yeah, it's, let's not trust that time. All right. Do I go for it? Are you gonna kill me? You're probably gonna kill me, judging by how it's gone before. Any light expo- any- even a little bit of exposure to steam literally murders me on the spot. As far as I can tell, so let's go elsewhere. Sorry, man shins. I was moderately impatient, so you must feel pain, digital character. Um... I'm pretty sure that's not meant to be like that. Getting more photograph spots, but I don't think I can go anywhere up here. The ladder just stops. You must, you must be able to access the top area from up there. Maybe by going through that door, but the door doesn't open. Oh! Look at you. There I go, trusting wood again, even though it's collapsed be be below me before, and in this case would kill me. I hear an engine. I mean, a motor. Or a generator. Uh oh, shit. Is there anything important in this thing, or am I about to fall to my death? Uh... Okay, that's broken. No? Oh, I'm over here now. Neat. Let's get out of that before it falls or something. Um... This is fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Nope. Alright, let's get away from that. <laughs> Had a bit of a portal moment there. Are you hiding things from me, game? Because I feel like you're hiding things from me, game. I don't like having things hidden from me, game. The game was not hiding anything from me. There was just actually a pile of boxes. Can't carry any more of this. I'll take it. I still have nine packs of batteries left. Um. Oh, noise area may cause hearing loss. Use proper ear production to protection. Uh, that's called removing my headphones. 
and then and then my ears are no longer in this universe with the west with, with the rest of me. It's a nice trick. There a key in any of these boxes? Remember when they hit a freaking fuse in one of those things, like out of line of sight, and you just had to magically pick it up? Because that was absurd. That wasn't very nice. Oh great, you don't work. Thanks for that. So that's a photographable broken thing. We've got dynamite in here. If you want to just blow it up, can I do that? Can I be totally reckless and just blow it up? We've done it before, so at this point it's acceptable as a solution. Now, nah, did the boxes go through the gate? They do. I think using the box is my actual solution. This seems safe. You're definitely not going to fall while I'm on you, are you? And go swinging back in some other direction that I couldn't access before? No, I probably need an another box to get on the pipe. That's why they gave me- they gave me so many because I might drop some of them, huh? Do I need more? I don't think so. Nope. That's not happening. We have escaped from that. <laughs> now we're in a slightly different location, but at least it's a little bit less treacherous to walk in. Christopher. Alright, down there is the steam thing I couldn't get past. Oh, there's a crank there, so if I turn that, then I can get past that. But this door doesn't open. But I believe that's the valve I need to turn in order to get rid of the steam problem that's likely killing me immediately if I touch it. Some boxes here. Keep those in the open so I can remi remember where they are. Kind of in a dark corner. There's a few more. Oh! Okay. So this one doesn't open, but it does interact, where they usually don't. So that might open later. Ew, more turds. I we don't have, think I can fit these in my pockets. Ew, and sausages next to the turds just making this whole thing feel uncomfortable. Like, isn't it weird how they go in and come out being the same shape? <laughs> That's not opening. Can I open the grill? I have like a ton can I just eat the sausage? Bread. All right, well, now, we, now we've got a proper staircase, like the fun, easy-to-use one instead of the awkward one where I have to stack them on top of each other at a slight angle. So you have two more here. That's hard to read. Oh, it's a suicide note. This is it. I'm ending my life. Everyone who knows me can understand why I'm doing this. This job was everything I had left, and now I don't even have that. Jeff Wal Walter bought the Bergman Group, and he didn't even try to save it. If there is someone to blame, it's definitely him. But everything else is my fault. I lost my family and many of my good friends. I can't blame Osma Olut. I was drinking to make m me feel better and trying to forget everything. I'm sorry. So it's somebody from the Bergman Group. I don't know if they're... If it's supposed to be one of the important characters that ran it, or just a random employee that just lost their job. Interesting. But they apparently, they're a self-professed alcoholic that was just trying to hide their misery, and then they gave up. And then presumably jumped off and died? Right here? Or am I gonna find their body around here? Or did they go, or did their body go sweeping down s stream? Why am I saying you guys now instead of the bears? I like the bears better, you're fucking creepy. Do I, do I want to climb on top of those pipes? No, it doesn't go anywhere. Got a shop door here. These buttons are not interactive. Oh, it's the noose. There's a noose right here. Fascinating. Okay, that's an unfortunate word choice. Uh. Oh boy, our protagonist says the wrong thing sometimes. 
Hey, corpse. Chick chink. I caught I caught a Pidgey. <laughs> like he's a Pokemon Snap character who'd be like, Yay! More photo opportunities. It's like, no, that's a conspiracy and that's a corpse. Inappropriate. Well, this is probably where I'm supposed to be. Ooh. That's probably the key I needed. Can't carry any more of these. I still have nine packs of batteries left. I think that's it. Whoa. Are you supposed to be a texture? You are. There's supposed to be a texture there, and it's there's just not. The wall's black and the pipe behind it's black. Weird. That's happened a few times. No, is it just the wall? The pi I think that was just a lighting thing with... Yeah, that was just a lighting thing with the pipe. That's why the pipe looked dark. But the wall just doesn't have a texture on it. Oh, weird. Huh. I'm hoping you open. There we go. And if I go turn that valve, I should now be able to get rid of the, pu the steam that was down there. There we go. So now I can go up and down as I please without having to do the whole thing again. That's neat. They're making it more possible to backtrack without having constant point of no, re point of no returns and one way things. Or making you redo the platforming. Not that one. Nope. Now we're above it all. Is our, do you think our protagonist even has a little bit of a plan? Or do you think he's just rolling with it at this point? Oh boy. That's not safe. This is not safe. Yeah, he doesn't have a plan. He has no idea where he's going. <laughs> no one would- no one's plan would involve- yeah, I'll just walk along these pipes. He's just making this up as he goes along, because so many weird random things are broken. And he's game. <laughs> he is not the kind of person who would, uh, get stuck in a situation where they have to call the, uh... The, uh, fire department to get them out, or something like that. No 911 operator is helping this person get safe. He is going to do the most absurd things to get out of these. You don't work, huh? I wonder if I could have made a big enough staircase just to hop up here and skip that. Huh. Well, you open right up. That's curious, but what's up here? Nothing, and... Nothing. Oh, there's the other side. So if it hadn't collapsed, it could have gone this way. But otherwise, there's nothing to do here. Those sparks shouldn't be happening. I'm just gonna, you know come out of a limb here and say probably shouldn't be happening. Ooh, you open. We find our, our way into something completely new now. These are, what, turbines? Am I in another dam? Oyster oil. You open too. West Stahlberg Runoff Discharge System. That's this whole structure. Oh, even that one opens. Oh, it's the back of the door. That was the door I'm like, well, this one interacts, so I can probably open it sometime. Here we are. Ew. So another shortcut back. 
level design's getting old Metroidvania -y all of a sudden. This isn't doing anything though. I think the only reason to come downstairs was to access the shortcut. All right, that's one less door to keep track of. There was two up here. That one's marked exit, so let's try this one. I haven't had to run away from an exploding building for a while, so I guess I must be doing something right. Emergency stop. For what? The water? It's already not going. Oh, you too, huh? Should I be going down there and take a look? Oh, you come out somewhere. Is that the reason to come in here? Now where have I ended up? Keep out! That just screams go that way. There's always a conspiracy behind it. Those are always the doors that lead to... Walter, seemingly. Oh, it's just that's the shadow? That's a severe shadow. Oh my goodness, there's so many directions. So I can go down there too. This door doesn't work. How am I to keep all these options straight? Oh. Once again, a series of lights where some of them are on and some of them are off. I don't know if that signifies that's a response to my gameplay or not. Uh oh. I may be getting a loading screen in this hallway. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, should I go back? Ah, uh, there it is. Damn it, should I be going back? This game makes me so damn paranoid. Was there a... Was there even... I don't know, I didn't even really see things to interact with back there. Like, I don't know if there was a puzzle mechanic to solve. That area seemed like it was just kind of a place. Hola. Now where have we ended up? Oh, great. Yeah, thanks for that. Oh, that's not a photograph spot? Broken thing? Fine. 